welcome and welcome to part six of my tarot deck collection i'm meredith i'm a professional hypnotist and spiritual life coach and we're here today though to talk just about tarot and um if if you didn't get to see the previous videos. They started with uh, mass market decks and now we're into independent and Kickstarter decks. And um, if you like, share, and subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. And remember to, to click that, that button so you get alerted when there's a new video because we have a bit still to go for this. Um, I also upload uh, daily readings, pick a card readings, um, do some walkthroughs, unboxings, things like that. Um, essentially, this channel's about um, uplifting and, and empowering, and in a way that's, that's tarot and oracle related. So, <clears throat> the first deck for today is the New Choice Tarot de Marseille 2nd Edition. This is a deck um, I first saw on uh, the Hermit's Cave with Simon. And oh man, I fell in love. And of course, it was out of print at the time. And I, uh, I had my eyes open um, just looking everywhere for it. And um, fortunately, Rosario Salerno, the amazingly talented creator, came out with the second edition. And I think this is the first thing I actually backed on Indiegogo. It's just not my, I don't know, I, you know, I've heard some less than positive things about it. Um, oh, I love the Brahmin for the Hermit. This is such a, an exquisitely beautiful deck. Um, I've heard some people um, complain that the, the people are a little too body beautiful. Um, I like seeing beautiful things. It doesn't bother me. Um, you know, maybe, maybe because uh, growing up as, as a, a girl and all of my heroes, all the people I wanted to be were men. You know, Luke Skywalker, Zorro, um, Indiana Jones. So I just, I never had a problem. I don't know. I, I don't need people to look like me for me to identify with them or, or get pulled in. Uh, that, that's just my thing. But either way, I am so in love with this deck. Um, I love everything about it. it. It reads so beautifully. It's, I mean, just, it's so exquisitely beautiful. I can't even... And he's coming out with a new deck um, that I'm really looking forward to. So if um, you follow him, this is so perfect. If you follow him on uh, Instagram, um, you can kind of see that. But uh, the cardstock is, is just perfect. Everything about it's perfect. I'm, I'm so, so grateful to have this deck. I love it. I use it for readings for others. I use it for myself. Um, and in fact, I, I used it earlier today. Um, and I created a short, and the, the sound quality is not great, and I apologize, but I just felt like it had to get out, and it just had to get out. So I put it out, and I did put a um, picture of it on Instagram with, with the reading and text. But yeah, I, man, I love this deck. I love it so much. It's just everything. So, this is one of my all-time favorites. I have a lot of favorites, I understand. 
but this is one of the one of the top for sure. And next, this is the Anima Mundi Tarot. Now, there's a weird thing about me with this deck. Um, when I received it, so I'd seen it all over, you know, it's really popular. The backs are beautiful. When I received it, I can't explain this, but I'm going to tell you, it looked pixelated to me. Um, and it absolutely, you know, I got it directly from the creator. So it, you know, wasn't a case of, uh, of it, of it being, um, fraudulent deck, but it just, it's like from a distance that looked fine. And then when I look closer, it just seemed pixelated. I'm going to tell you that. So, so I put it away. I tried to use it a couple times. Wasn't feeling it. Look, oh man. I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on, but I'm going to tell you, it does not look pixelated. So it's such a weird thing. I have no explanation for it, but that's what I experienced. Um, I guess it just wasn't time for me to use this deck. And now I guess it is. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful. And again, I don't see I don't see what I thought I saw before. How weird is that, right? But it's it's a fabulous, fabulous deck. So recently, I've been using it really, um, like actively using it for the first time since I received it some time ago. I mean, probably a couple years ago. And it's such a, I don't know, it, it, it's just so weird. I have no explanation. But But again, I think it just wasn't time for me. Um, I don't think my eyes change drastically. Now, I will say, this is, um, I guess this is, is this linen? I don't know. But it's, I don't know if you can see there. You can see, like, the, um, maybe you can. Uh, the, uh, the fibers. But it doesn't interfere with the beauty of the deck. And it is a beautiful deck. So I really, really enjoy it. This is a great deck, I think, to, to use for others. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect to use for yourself. So I just, this reminds me of Labyrinth, too. But, uh, and, and that's just the perfect. But yeah, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful deck. Um, you've probably already seen it. But if you haven't, I would definitely check it out. And the cardstock is lovely. Shuffles like a dream. And uh, I really, I really enjoy it. So I'm glad I didn't, you know, just get rid of it um, when I first received it. Next, we have the Skeleton Tarot. <laughs> this deck is so, so cute. Um, if I can get it out. Okay. Oops. So those are the backs. Here's just a... So this deck, um, found on Etsy, and, uh, I just... really love it. It's so charming and, and quirky and it's just, it's just really enjoyable. Now this is a deck that, you know, you might think, oh, that's a Halloween deck and it absolutely is. But I will say that I do use this deck at other times too. It just, it's just a sweet deck. And uh, I really like it. It's very interesting. And um, yeah, I 
I haven't used this for anyone else. I just, um, just use it for me. And that's enough. You know? Um, so it's not a, a daily reader, but it is one that I do come back to. And I really, really enjoy it. So, so cute. And next, talking about Halloween, the Happy Halloween Tarot. This deck is so much, even more than I expected. I love this deck so much. I can't wait for Halloween. Well, that's a constant state for me too anyway, but um, these are the bad. It is um, a little bit glossy, I guess, but not the sticky glossy. So it glides and moves beautifully, and um, and it's not it's not like super shiny or anything. Really, really beautiful deck. I mean, it really is. I love this deck so much, and uh, I know after after the Kickstarter, um, I guess a lot of people reached out and, and wanted it um, and basically at this point um, you know it's it's sold out um, potentially there might be like a, a second run um, but it, you know there's um, stuff going on and, and, and so you just kind of have to wait but, um, yeah, in fact, I feel like I should have gotten, um, <laughs> I should have gotten two decks just because, you know, just in case. This is just such a great deck. I can't wait to use it. So, I've used this for myself already. Um, so I'm not waiting for Halloween for it. But, um, in terms of reading for others, I haven't yet used it. But I absolutely will during Halloween. I think this is going to be such a great, fun deck. And um, I just, I love the artwork. I love everything about it. It's just really delightful. And um, yeah, it's, it's just wonderful. So, look at that High Priestess. It's a fabulous, fabulous deck. It shuffles like a dream. It moves. Oh, wait, look at Strength. Love that card. It's just wonderful. I love it. I love the colors. It's just a, it's a great, great deck. And so much more than just a Halloween deck. And next, we have the Orphic Tarot. Now, this deck, um, these are the backs. You can kind of see. The edging is, is just gorgeous. I, I love the artwork in this. My only issue, well, my main issue with this deck is this is a deck that to me is going to take a while to get to know. Um, it's, first of all, it's a little hard for for my not so young eyes to use this in in a larger spread um, it just can kind of um, blend together for me now when I look at a single card it's a lot easier so so that's generally how I've been using it for now 
Um, I haven't given it a ton of time yet, uh, just because, you know, life, so many other things going on. But, but this is a deck that, for me, I feel like I need to give it some undivided attention for a while. And I will. It's, you know, it's coming. One day soon. So I do really like it. Um, I just haven't really used it except for, um, you know, I've, I've done a couple spreads. Um, but, but primarily just a single card draw to, um, to kind of get a feel for it. But I think that it's a very... It's a very powerful deck, and, and I think that it has the potential to really suck you in. <laughs> Hamilton, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's a wonderful deck. I just haven't devoted, look at this card though, the time and attention that it deserves yet, but I will. So. Um, yeah, I, I really like it and it, this is a deck that when I first saw it I thought oh no way not with the colors and you know just because of, of my personal limitations um, not that I really I, I'm not like 8 years old but you know sometimes the, the colors can kind of swim together um, with a deck like that but it won me over because it's just, it's really a wonderful, wonderful deck. Um, so I will get there with that deck. I'm just not quite there. Uh, next, we have the Hilda Tarot. This is the Gingham edition. This deck is just so fun and so quirky. And um, it's got such a such a charm, and this is you know one of those decks. It just it just makes me happy to use it. Um, I just Hilda's wonderful, and I I love the spirit of her that that comes through in all of the cards. I love that. Um, that joy for life that's really expressed in every card. And it just, it's just wonderful. It really, really is. Um, I also have the, uh, the Hilda uh, Lenormand, which I'll show in, when I, I do a video of my Lenormand decks. But um, it's just wonderful. She's just got such a great positive energy. Um, I haven't used this with anybody, but I absolutely would, because again, it's just, it's just wonderful, and I feel like she's very relatable, um, just, you know, she reminds me a little bit of I Love Lucy, um, and I just, I just love her, I really, I love that hat, come on, that's a great hat, uh, she's just fabulous. And I love this deck. I love quality's fabulous. It shuffles beautifully, and um, yeah, it's a real, real pleasure to use. So I'm it's a bounce. I think I'm getting a delivery. Hamilton. Sorry. So next. We have the Reigning Rogue Tarot. This is a deck that I really, really wanted to like. Um, super pretty. I mean, look at those backs. It's just lovely. 
um, what I've what I've come to realize about this is, or or really about me, I guess. These cards, I don't mind. They don't necessarily do a ton for me, but the the main. I don't like animals. Um, personified, you know, that anthropomorphic, I don't care for that, um, and I think that's maybe a big part of why I just don't connect to this deck, um, I just don't, and it's beautiful, and, you know, I think, like, this does not appeal to me, it just doesn't, and, and I think that kind of throws me off, um, yeah, so, and this is another deck that, you know, I received it, I put it away, brought it back out, put it away, and, but that's so beautiful. I mean, it really is, but it's just not for me. And so when I, you know, as I was gathering up my decks um, to do these videos, I kind of gave it another look, and it's still, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, I don't want to see animals in dresses. I don't know. That's just me. Um, so I, I think this one is going to have to move on because it deserves to be um, used and, and loved and enjoyed. Um, and I just don't think I can provide that. So I will put it aside, you know, one more time, give it, you know, at least a, a quick, um, a quick use, you know, that one, the one last, uh, hurrah, so to speak, and if I still don't feel anything, this is, this is definitely going to have to move on, so, but again, it's, it's beautiful, uh, just not for me. Next, okay, here is, I think, the only RWS style that, that, um, that I really use. So these are the backs. This is the, so it doesn't have like a name name. So this is by, um, Dark. Seneva? Seneva? I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say it, but um, it's listed as like a vintage RWS. The cardstock is wonderful. It's got a kind of papery feel, which I really like. It just, to me, makes it feel kind of medieval, which I enjoy. And I love that um, aged look. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> RWS is, is not my style of choice, especially when it comes to, you know, those, um, yeah, like this card cracks me up. There are too many memes about it, and it just makes me laugh every time I see it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of Pixie's art, honestly, and I know that's probably horrifying to a lot of people, but I'm just not. Um, it, it just doesn't really speak to me, but, um, this is a good deck for, you know, when, when reading for clients who are expecting to see this kind of imagery, this is one that, um, just kind of vibes with me a lot better, you know, because I really do enjoy the aesthetic of it. And, yeah, I'm, it's a... It's a really nice deck. It's, it's really enjoyable to shuffle. Um, you know, and it is, I mean, it's, it's just RWS, which is fine, but it's, it's so yummy to use. That's the main thing. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just nice. It's just really nice. Um, 
so I like this even more than yeah I, I didn't really expect to super like it but I thought maybe I would tolerate it but I actually do like it I, I don't reach for it for me but I do use it a lot for other people and next we're gonna stick with so this is his name Dark Sinever. Um, and this is the Witch Folk Tarot. This deck I really like. It's really um, different. And these are the backs. And it's a nice um, linen cardstock. And they're they're smaller, so these are, you know, if this is like the stand. The other ones were a bit larger, I think. But this is, oh, this could be a bit smaller, shorter, maybe like a playing card size or a poker size. I think playing card. I feel like poker is even smaller. I'm not sure. But this is a great deck. I really, I really like this deck. And this is one that unfortunately I tend to forget about. And I don't know why, because it's it's really a neat, neat deck. Um, I love the, the borders with the eyes. I love the artwork, the imagery, the, the feeling that's conveyed. And um, yeah, it's really, really interesting to me um, and I haven't used this one to read for anyone else love this um, but I, I might I there's no reason why I wouldn't put it that way um, I just haven't yet um, but yeah it's just it's a great deck love this I love this um, and I really enjoy it. So, that is the Witch Book Tarot. And next is one more by the same creator. And this is the Vivid Spirit Tarot. And this deck. So, um, blue is kind of my color. So when I saw this, I kind of had to get it. Um, the cardstock is is kind of thin, but um, it doesn't feel um, bad. It, it doesn't feel like it's... Um, too fragile it's just a different it's very like slippery and I kind of like that um, I really really like this deck it's just very unique I love this pool I mean you can just feel that energy you know he's kind of like gleefully just taking that leap but um yeah so so there are um some like like the wind um, that are going to be a little different, but for the most part, I love this in the spirit. Um, yeah, it, it's very easy to read. I mean, you can still see the RWS um, in there, so it, it's super super easy to read. I love the way he did this, or they did this. Um, I just think that's great imagery. Um, yeah, I, I just really love it. And I just use it for me. And <clears throat> this is probably the one I reach for maybe the most out of all of his decks. Yeah, it's, it's just quirky and lovely, and I do love blue. So.
so it's a really it's a really nice thought. And next is another wonderful deck. This is the Playful Heart Tarot. Now it did come, or maybe I had it on, I don't remember, with some Oracle cards, just a few. Um, and I am going to do a separate Oracle collection, but because I keep these with the Tarot deck, I might forget. So, so I'll just quickly flip through them now, because they're charming. Now this is a deck um, I saw a lot, um, I think primarily on uh, Lisa Papez's channel, and she's a big fan, and I was so tempted for a while to get that, look at that too, oh, so yummy, to get this, but there was one um, card, I thought it was multiple cards, it's really just one that kind of turned me off just seeing pictures of it or, or seeing it on the flip through and it made me reluctant to get this deck but it kept, I just kept seeing it and I kept, you know, I just felt so drawn to it um, finally, I just said, you know, I'm just going to get it and we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens um, I love this deck. I mean, I really love this deck. It, it's a little, a little more cutesy and and um, it's a little more cutesy than I would normally go for, maybe. But don't mistake that for um, a lack of of power or depth because it absolutely has both in spades and oh man I love this deck I really really do um, this is one that I haven't used for other people only because I think I still want to keep it just for me for now but I will I absolutely will because I think that that this is a great deck to use to read for other people the use of color the just everything. Oh man. I mean, look at this. Look at the how. Oh. I really love it. So, and I'll show you if we, if we come to it, the one card that, that was throwing me. <laughs> this is so cute. And it's, you know, this is still that standard, you know, you got a bunch of wands coming. But it's so cute with the faces. Um, it makes it, it makes it unique. I really, really like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's probably like the last card. No, it's not. But uh, I oh, look at that. Super easy to read. I mean, really. If if you're uh, new to to reading tarot, I think that this could be a great deck for you because you can absolutely. You don't need to know anything about how to read tarot and you can pick this up and use it very effectively um, because they just did just a perfect job of, of conveying that energy and it's just wonderful I love this is one of my favorites it reminds me of where the wild things are which was my favorite book growing up it was just you know when I was little I was a little kid's book but I love that book um this. I I have a weird thing. It's just a me thing, but I don't like things like kind of stretched out out of proportion. It yeah, but I'm gonna the reason I'm showing this and, and saying this is to say, even though when I saw just individual pictures of it or saw it in somebody's flip through and I was really turned off by it, I'm not now that I have it in the deck. You know, so it doesn't bother me at all. It, you know, it just, it fits with the deck and it's right. Oh, look at this. So, um, oh man, I love 
love that. I just love this whole deck, and, and now we've done almost the whole thing, so I gotta stop. But uh, this is a fabulous deck. I really, really love it. Um, I'm so glad that I finally, finally got it. And next, let's do another, another cute. This is cute and creepy tarot. Um, got this deck. This is su such a charming deck. Um, I love that, you know, it's it's based around, well, cute and creepy creatures. And even the creepy ones are cute. Like, come on. And it's just... It's just a pleasure to use. I, I just use this for me. Um, but it's, it's a fun deck. Easy to read. Um, and I... I just really like it. it the cardstock is, is nice. You know, it shuffles nicely. It, it doesn't feel delicate. Um, it's great for riffle shuffling. And, oh, did I show you the edges? And this is the type of, of the gilding that doesn't really chip. Or at least not in my experience. Um... You know, sometimes the, the like solid gilding, you know, will will chip, especially if you riffle shuffle. But um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this. I don't use it all the time, um, but <laughs> I love that. But when I get in the mood, um, yeah, it's you know, this is one that oh, this this is such a fabulous card. Um, it's just, it's a great deck. I really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah, and I recommend it if you are looking for something a little different, a little cute, a little creepy. Um, I don't remember, I think... This came with either a, a guidebook or, or maybe just a, a link to talk about um, some of the creatures. I forget, honestly. All right, next. We have Guardian of the Night Tarot. So this deck is so, so excited for this because the imagery is beautiful. So these are the backs. These are the fronts. And, and this is by uh, MJ... Um, MJ... Cullinane, uh who, who created the Crow Tarot, right? So I was kind of expecting cardstock at least similar to that it's it's not now it does move beautifully so I like that but it it just feels so I mean it's so thin um honestly it it really turned me off from this deck um yeah I, you know I'm, I can be weird about certain things and the unfair part is that I think that if I just randomly bought this deck and, and didn't have the crow, didn't, you know, if I had no expectations, it probably wouldn't bother me. Well, or not as much. Um, so this is another deck that I received and put away. And, you know, I... I tried using it for a little while, and then I was kind of done. Um, and I really just haven't used it since. And I don't know. I, I'm still not really feeling called to use it. So this may be one that 
just needs to move on. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think this one's going to kind of go away for a little while. Maybe get... I do love that, though. And, and maybe, um, you know, get kind of one more try and see. But as of right now, I don't... I don't think it's going to be sticking around. I just don't feel called to use it. So. And that's okay. Um, and then next, we have... Oh. So I have... <coughs> Wayward Dark, and this is by Pixie Occult. This is the third edition. Comes in a tin. I don't know if it does anymore. I think I saw them post something about tins not available, but it might have been for a specific deck. I'm not really sure. Um, but I love that it's in a tin. Love the backs. Now, you may be surprised, especially if you've watched any of my other videos, to see this and uh, hear that I love this deck. But I do. And even though it's black and white, um, super easy to make out the details. It's just, it's a great deck. It's a really great deck. Um, and you know, this is, this is uh, thought based stack, which I appreciate. And it's really just a, a pleasure to use. So easy to read. And um, I really like it. And I get lost in the images, in case you can't tell. So I'm going to stop that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just get drawn in. I just get, oh, look at that. I just get absolutely drawn in. And I really, really enjoy it. I don't use it for anybody else. It's just for me. Um, but it's a, it's a great duck. I'm trying to go a little faster because we still have a lot of decks to go through so if you see any decks that you'd like to see more of or or see you know a real um, a real walkthrough or even a deep dive just let me know and I'm absolutely happy to do that so next we have the Lost Hollow again See, called, this is the first edition. So I backed this on Kickstarter. And um, <clears throat> so this was a, uh, a site. You had two choices, I think, for death. And that's, that's the one I didn't choose. Um, no issue with it. I just didn't choose that one. <clears throat> These are the back. Now this one, we do have some color, yay! Um, and it's just, I really like it. I don't know if I had to choose between um, this and the way we're dark. I don't know which I would choose. It depends on my mood. Some days I prefer this one. Some days I prefer the other one. <clears throat> but fortunately, I don't have to choose. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the pollen here is so horrendous. And um, usually, usually I, uh, I get over it in about a week or two. Not this year. But, um, 
so this is a fabulous like why is this all right let's do this and yeah yeah right now i feel like this is my favorite but um for a long time it was the other so it i don't know but i love it and fortunately i don't have to choose and <coughs> I, uh, it, it's a different energy in this deck anyway. So when I feel moved to use this deck, it's not like I could just as easily use the other one. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. <coughs> and I believe they are working on another deck as well. So, um, came super quickly, um, beautifully packaged, beautiful cardstock, and um, yeah, highly, highly recommend them. I really enjoy. memories tarot now this deck exists in various forms in various places um, I, I don't know the whole story but this version is by Taroko studio um, but the creator is not listed um, Oh, here. So, you do have a choice. Um, I don't know where. But, but you have a choice for the numbers for justice and strength, which I appreciate. So, oh, here. There we go. So. <clears throat> anyway. These are the facts. Hard suck is super yummy. Um, it's a nice, thicker, but but very, very flexible, very soft, and just kind of welcoming. I love this deck. Now there is a version that is very colorful. It's called. Um, I'm I'm definitely gonna bastardize the name, but it, it's something like. Sam, something like that. Um, that's on my list of decks to get. Um, and I think that one has different pips, or or maybe they're. I think they're illustrated differently. Love this. Um, yeah, see, these are just, you know, <coughs> pip cards. I think they might be fully illustrated in the other edition, but I, I absolutely could be wrong. Um, but either way, this is a fabulous deck. I really enjoy using it. Um, sometimes I use it for other people. Not a lot, but sometimes. And I just, I really, really love it. It's a great deck. And, uh, I love how much there is to, to take away from the cards and how much there is to see, even in the pips. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a really lovely, lovely deck and I enjoy it very much. Next, um, let's go into one of my my favorite uh, creators. Um, this 
start. So this is the Tarot de Marseille, the new incarnation. And it's Eugene Benitsky and Elsa Kapatnikovsky. Um, they are, uh, oh, dang it, I can't think of the, it'll come to me, but, um, I have uh, a few of their decks, and they are absolutely exquisite, the, oh, I love these backs, the cardstock is just wonderful, and the boxes are perfect. It, the quality of their decks, so Terramania, Terramania, um, just everything about their decks. I have, I think, all of their decks except maybe two because they have one that's kind of like an erotic deck that just doesn't. I don't feel the need for that. There's nothing wrong with it. I just it doesn't call to me. And then there's like a money one, which again. You know, money's just not a motivating factor in my life. You know, I obviously want to be uh, be able to take care of myself and and um, all that, but it's not. It's just not a driving force. Um, so it just doesn't really interest me. But I think I have all of their other decks, and I really, really love them. And, and as you can see, these are um, illustrated pips. So in that, I have a few decks now um, that, that have done that. And it's just, just a wonderful deck. Um, I don't use it a huge amount. I use it when I'm in the mood for this kind of deck. Um, but it's it's really delightful. It's beautiful. And it feels so nice to use. Um, yeah. I, I really, really love it. And again, I mean, it's just... It's just beautiful. And everything... The quality is just wonderful. I love it. And then next, this is again same. Well, in this case, it's uh, just Eugene is listed. Eugene Vnitsky, and it's the Kabbalistic Tarot fifty-seven eighty-one. <coughs> These are the backs. Now there is a version that's black and white, I believe. I don't have that one. I think I was gonna, I, unless I'm, unless I'm being crazy. I think I was about to actually buy it when this came out on Kickstarter, and I thought, oh man, color, that's even better. <clears throat> so I went for this, and oh man, and again, the cardstock is just gorgeous. It's a pleasure to shuffle and use. It's, I love the way he divided this and, and provided all this information. And, the, and I never talk about the books. But I will say that, I mean, it's a tiny book, but he gives you really everything you need to, um, to understand the, the symbols and everything that he uses gives you meanings um it's just man it's a, it's a great deck and he does provide um extra yeah tarot mania mania um does provide extra 
information. Um, so here he's giving you the Tree of Life, the Hebrew alphabet, with regard to to these cards. Um, the the amount of um, knowledge and, and understanding that he has with regard to, to tarot and um, magical systems, I think, is um, is is just very impressive. Um, and yeah, I love love this deck. Um, this is again one that I I tend to just use for me. But um, I I love it, and and this one, this is one of the ones that I reach for the most out of his decks. And it's it's just fabulous. So the next one, and again we're back with Eugene. It's the Tarical of. Uh, the Tarot of Magical Correspondences. Now this one, the, um, the cardstock is a bit different. It's got like a gloss. Um, I don't mind it. I was surprised by it. Um, but I don't mind it. Actually, I really like it. You know what it reminds me of? Um, it reminds me of as a kid in like science class or maybe I feel like maybe I got some kind of kid subscription to um, these things I would get these uh, kind of um, larger sized like data sheets about plants and animals and rocks and minerals and they had this similar feel to them you know there, there's like a lamination um, and that's what it reminds me of and the funny thing is, when, when you're holding the deck as a whole, you notice it more. When you're just picking up a card, I, I don't really notice it much. Um, it makes it really easy to shuffle. And it's a really, really neat deck. There's a lot going on. And it does come with a, a little book that is super packed with information. And, you know, it explains everything that, that you see. So, um, you know, if you're like, well, I don't, I don't know what any of that stuff is, that's okay, because he'll explain it to you. Um, yeah, this is a really unique deck. Um, and, and again, he just he packs it all in to every card. And he did it in such a way that to me it's it's aesthetically pleasing and it just yeah it, it, he just it, I think he did a fabulous fabulous job with it and I really enjoy this and I have used this with other people and um, yeah it's it's a great deck so another that's that's kind of tied maybe for me with with the last deck but my all-time favorite book is the madhouse tarot and now he's back with elsa or is that different kapatnikovsky i think it's the same yes yes yeah, same Elsa. Uh, This deck is so beautiful. I mean, it's so beautiful. This is a work of art. It is very, um, it's wonderful. I went over this deck in the, in the video I did about, um, 10 decks that I, you know, if I could only keep 10 decks, this is one of them. And I am so in love with this deck. So powerful and it's so incredibly evocative and immersive and 
you know, when this, this came out on Kickstarter, and I hesitated only because I thought, well, you know, that's great for certain types of, of readings, but, you know, how often am I really going to use it? And it wasn't, it wasn't cheap. But I, I had to give in. And I'm so glad I did because I could use this deck for any reading, for every reading. It doesn't even matter. It reads so perfectly and so beautifully. And I absolutely love it. It's such, it's like a, it's a feast for the senses to me. I mean, it's just, I can't, I mean, I can feel the water here. I mean, I could just, oh. This is just, it's, it's one of my all-time favorite decks. And I am absolutely in love with it. And surprisingly, I only have one copy, and I've really considered getting a second one just in case. Which, you know, but, oh, look at the double. I just am absolutely in love with this deck. I don't use it to read for other people. I think, oh, look at that. I think depending on the person, depending on the situation, I might. Um, but I haven't. But also, I really just want it for me, you know? This reminds me, okay, it's going to age me. But it, does anybody remember the, the video for Losing My Religion from REM? I was thinking about it. Um, yeah, it's, oh man, it's a great deck. It's a great, great deck. I can't say enough about it. And um, it's, this deck is so much more than, oh, look at this, than it appears on, on uh, you know, in a video or in pictures. It's so much more beautiful and it's so much more powerful. So yeah, this is this is one of my all-time all-time favorites. And I would give up most of my collection if I had to to keep this. So yeah. And perhaps we should stop here. And I'd really really love to know what you think. You know, what decks appeal to you? What decks do you have? What decks would you like to have? Um, if you have any questions, if you want to see more of any decks, if you want to see a walkthrough, a deep dive, if you'd like to see a particular deck in action, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know. And, you know, if you could like, share, and subscribe, because... Again, this is a new channel, and every single one counts. And of course, you understand you count. You count most of all, because you are so special and so wonderful. And you deserve only wonderful things. So be good to yourself, really good, because you deserve it. So until next time.